What's up traders? Today marks an epic day in the history of bar replay, backtesting, and performing research on historical moves because as you can see here, we've got a Bitcoin chart open on the left, an Apple chart open on the right. We are utilizing our multiple chart layout, and now we can click bar replay up here at the top. Click the drop down here to ensure that we have all charts selected. Then we can pick the chart that we want to pick our starting point at. Once we've located that starting point, let's say right here on this Bitcoin chart, we can click again. Both charts that we are looking at will instantly show us that price back at that specific point in time. Thus, we have just gone back in time on the chart. And now using our playback buttons down here at the bottom, we can watch this price action simultaneously unfold on Bitcoin and Apple. Check this out. We're going to click play. And now we are watching this historic price action unfold. And if we wished, we could paper trade it. We could click buy or click this chart and click buy. So we can simultaneously paper trade these two events. Or we can draw on the charts as we need. Maybe we wish to perform some technical analysis or fundamental analysis. We can even slow down the price action on these charts to ensure that our analysis is more readable to us as the price unfolds. And with all of this, we can now do bar replay on multiple charts at once. This is a huge advancement in the world of backtesting, charting prior events, and learning from history. Now that you understand the basics of this feature, which is essentially picking a multiple multiple chart layout of your choice, and then bar replay up here at the top, we're going to start this video as if now you were a beginner in the world of trading and investing or in trading you in general. So we're going to exit out of this paper trade position. We're going to flatten it. Let's click this chart highlighted here in blue. We're going to flatten that as well. We're going to pause our bar replay and exit out. And we're going to start over because we want to make sure that anybody watching this video can understand how bar replay works, why it is important, and especially how now it can be utilized in the world of multiple chart analysis. So first of all, your bar replay button can be found at the top here as we demonstrate it. You can click bar replay and you know it's activated when it's highlighted blue. In addition, you can see here that it says select bar. And thus we have this blue line that we can locate on the chart. And when we're ready, we can click a point on the chart and we will go back in time just like that. But keep in mind, there are other options. You can type in a specific date. You can also use one of my favorite features, the random bar feature. That's because if you use the select bar feature, well, you can kind of see what's gonna happen next. For example, if I click right here, I already know the next bar is a green bar. So if I do practice trade, I sort of have a bias. I'm just going to buy a ton, click play because I know it's green. And sure enough, the trade worked out in this paper trading example. The beautiful thing about the random bar capability is that once you click it, you go back to a random point in time. In fact, look at this Bitcoin chart. We went back so far that we've got a unique data set from June 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You can now watch this historic price action of Bitcoin going all the way back to 2010 when barely anyone knew about it. And it was practically trading for pennies. But this is where things really get wonderful about Bar Replay. Now that you understand it, is that all of these tools are now available in the multiple chart layout. So the multiple chart layout can be found up here at the top right. It says Layout Setup. We can click this drop down and we see these numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. This is clearly illustrating to us how many charts we wish to look at in one window. That's right. So when we think we are ready to select the multiple chart layout for us, all we have to do is determine the number of charts we want to look at. In this example, let's look at three charts at once on one screen. And let's look at those charts in a specific fashion where we have one chart on top and two charts on the bottom. So just like that, we've got a Bitcoin chart up here. It's set to daily. We've got an Apple chart down here. It's set to daily. And we have an ETF chart of the QQQ Tech ETF 
also set to daily. But keep in mind that you can have different time intervals, different chart looks and feels, and you can still utilize all of the capabilities of Bar Replay on all of the charts. So for example, let's take this Bitcoin chart to daily. How about we put this Apple chart to one week? Let's really zoom out. We're going to keep this look and feel like this. This QQQ chart, just to illustrate the capabilities, let's make it a area chart. In addition, let's take it to about five days. So we've got different charts, different colors, different look and feels, and different time intervals. And we can still click bar replay, click this drop down, make sure all charts are selected. Then we're going to utilize the select bar in this part of the video. Find a point on the chart. And by the way, you can move your mouse like such to locate any point on the chart. And what's so fantastic about this feature is as you move your mouse across each chart, you will see it update in real time on the corresponding charts. So why don't we zoom out on this Bitcoin chart? Let's go back to the start of 2024. Maybe we want to learn what happened this year in 2024 and get some key takeaways to inspire our process, our strategy, and our approach to markets going forward. Now, what you'll notice is the second we click that, each chart has effectively gone back to that starting point in 2024. Also, you'll notice down here, we've got open replay trading tab just to further let us know that we are in replay trading. And if we open this button, we can actually track the trades, the historical trading as we proceed accordingly. So we're going to close this replay trading tab for now because the point of this video is foremost to focus on the capability of doing bar replay on multiple charts at once. So we've got our starting point selected. Why don't we adjust our speed now? So as you can see here, there are different speed options. If we do 10x, that's 10 updates per one second. If we do 3x, that's three updates per one second. If we do 1x, that's one update per one second. You can think about that as a bar that's going to be shown to you on the chart. Let's do 3x because, you know, we don't want you sitting around forever in this tutorial. We want you to be able to see the speed unravel before your eyes. And now that we're ready, let's click play. The charts are now moving before our eyes. So we are utilizing bar replay on all of these charts. Now, what's so cool about this is that if you do intermarket analysis, you can utilize this to practice your trade. So for example, maybe you think the NASDAQ 100 is the key indicator for you when trading Apple. And by extension, you also think Bitcoin is a key indicator to, do, to these symbols as well. Well, we're going to make sure we click the Apple chart. So now our paper trading tools are for this specific chart, you can see here in blue, and we're going to try to trade based on this price action. Look at the QQQ going up, look at Apple going down. Let's try to buy some Apple on the basis that the index is going to lead Apple higher. So we just bought five shares and we can see that trade right here. We're already down $47. So perhaps our trade's not perfect. Or maybe we want to buy more because now we think the NASDAQ 100 is actually moving faster than Apple. And simultaneously, look at Bitcoin. It's staying rather strong. So we are doing some inter-market analysis and we can see the trade unfold before our eyes just like this. So this is a wonderful way to test out your trading strategy across multiple symbols at once. And holy cow, look at that. This trade is really performing accordingly. And keep in mind that where it says TP and SL, this is your take profit target, and this is your stop loss. So we can click pause and now adjust our trade. Well, we're up on the trade, so let's take our take profit essentially to, how about we do 241? And our stop loss, because we're up on the trade, why would we want to give back our gains? Let's almost set a stop loss at a certain level that ensures that we walk away from this trade with a profit. So at this point, we're either going to take a $684 profit or a $415 profit. And we can do that while watching these charts still at the same time. By the way, what's another great feature is now, if you think you've learned something from this analysis, 
you can now click the other charts. We have Bitcoin selected and we can buy Bitcoin. We just bought 10 Bitcoin. So take a look at the trading we are doing across these multiple charts. This is one of the best ways to learn about markets because you're not just applying your strategy to a specific symbol. You are getting an intermarket view on what is going on and then applying your knowledge to see if it actually works. Let's go ahead and click play and see what happens. So far, we're doing well on Bitcoin. Our Apple trade is still on and we're using this ETF to sort of guide us on this market direction. Now let's go ahead and pause it. Let's actually adjust our Bitcoin take profit up here at this double top of sorts. So if it goes up to here, we'll sell in this, these highs. You could say these highs have become resistance. Also look at our gains here. We probably want to hold on to these gains. Let's also take our stop loss to here. So we at least walk away with something and let's click play and observe how our trades are doing at this point in time. Now, pay attention that our Apple stop, our Apple take profit target was hit. We can see that here. We see our two buys. We see our sell. We can see our combined profit. Let's click, click play. And let's just watch the action unfold. It's just essentially a really interesting and fun way to practice your trading. And now that we've completed this multiple chart bar replay, We've got some stats. We did pretty well. We had a hundred percent win rate, right? In just those two examples, we can see our best trade, our total profit. And now we're going to exit out. That was the Apple example. Now we've got our Bitcoin example, which was quite frankly, even better than the Apple trade. And let's exit out and look at our charts again. So this is one really important way. The multiple chart layout can benefit you. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go even deeper now because we need to make sure that we show you more examples than just this. We're gonna go back to the two chart, multiple chart layout. And why don't we switch our symbols here? How about we go to Amazon on the left? And here's where you're gonna find this interesting. We're also going to open up Amazon on the right. You may be asking, what are we doing doing our replay on the exact same chart? Well, we're now gonna do multi time frame analysis. So we're going to have this chart on the left on a daily chart and this chart as a weekly chart, because now we are going to watch a symbol with a specific time frame in mind, meaning we are going to trade this daily chart in this example or learn from it or study it while watching the weekly price action as our guide. So the first thing we're going to do in this example is we're going to do random bar on both charts. And what's so cool about this is we know this is the weekly and this is the daily, but remember we're trading the daily. So the first thing we may observe is that there seems to be some sort of double top forming, both on the daily chart and even to some degree, the weekly chart. But what's so beautiful about this is that it looks a little more intense on the daily chart than the weekly chart. So at this point in time, we are going to not place a trade because our analysis says the weekly chart looks a little smoother than the daily. So let's go ahead and click play and see what happens and let this guide us. Now we can see the action. It looks like we should have placed a short trade. But look at the weekly chart still holding up a bit. Let's click play again and let's watch here. And there it is, folks. We just learned something valuable about the Amazon daily chart compared to the weekly chart in this specific example. And now look at the bounce coming back. If this particular trade gets back up to these prior levels, then we're going to extend this line. Let's extend this line. We're going to go ahead and try to place a short trade on the basis that it might be additional resistance. And would you look at that? We missed it because we were focused on the daily chart, waiting for it to hit. But on the weekly chart, it actually did hit. So what we're doing here is learning. This is how you can practice, backtest, study price action to get a feel for what you could do in future scenarios. Now we're going to watch the chart and there we are. It hit and it went down again. Let's try this, folks. We are going to short five shares of Amazon in this specific example. Let's sell right here. You can see the sales been put here. We can see it right there. We're gonna use the weekly chart as our guide if it invalidates anything. And we just got absolutely obliterated on that trade. But here's the thing, you have to lose to learn. Nobody wins in markets 100% of the time. And that's where the insights and value are in this tool. Because keep in mind, this is paper trading. This is not real money. So we can use this practice money as if it's a video game 
to now learn some insights here. And here's a critical insight that we didn't learn. We didn't set a stop loss when we set this position. Theoretically, our loss could go infinitely if the Amazon keeps going higher. So we need to flatten this position immediately and take the loss. And now what we're going to have to do is consider buying this breakout, or let's just let it play out to learn what happened. Because fascinating, isn't it? See that? This is where this tool is so invaluable, is that you can really gain a key understanding. Had we actually held, we would have broken even. Actually, we would have made a gain. This turned out to be a false breakout. It broke out, and look how quickly it dipped back down. These are the types of lessons you can glean from using bar replay in a multiple chart framework. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. And keep in mind, we have more resources on our help center. And we also have additional resources on our YouTube channel. In fact, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our videos about the multiple chart layouts because we go into deep detail about this tool, including the symbol, interval, crosshair, time, and date range. And if you want to see more examples of our team using Bar Replay, in this case, specifically me, your host, Steph, go watch my videos about Bar Replay as well. I take you through it all. The team at TradingView builds with your feedback in mind. It is key that you master the platform and take advantage of these powerful tools. Thanks for watching.